And we're live. We're live. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome to our So Powerful Live. We're thrilled you're here. We're going to take a few minutes and just let people find the feed and jump in with us, and then we'll start formally, and uh, we're going to have a great time together. So give us a like or love or comment wherever you're watching this. I guess it's a like or love on Facebook. Comment, comment comment on YouTube as well. We'd love to know where you're watching from, as well as uh, something nice, like a hello, <laughs> some little greeting. Are you ready to awesome. do a So Powerful Live? Yes, we're doing it uh, multi-location. This is so the multi-location So Powerful Live. Yeah, so we're broadcasting from our office in uh, Northern California and Yuba City uh, specifically. And uh, okay, people are saying, oh, aloha. Hey, that sounds exciting. Uh, hello from Mesa. Hello from, uh, where else? Wa Arlington, Washington. Indianapolis. Indianapolis. All right, tell us where you're watching from and say hello. Wheatland, California. Leah, hey. Um, wonderful, all right. Jennifer and Pat Quigley. Oh, they're already chatting, having a nice conversation there in the chats. Uh, all right, fun times. Feel free to tell us where you're watching from and um, and uh, say hello in the chat, whether it's on Facebook or on YouTube. We can see it here. Centerville, Ohio and Texas. Uh, Big Southern welcome from Georgia. All right. Uh, Southern California. Shouldn't say Wales? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Wales. That's exciting. Um, okay, so we're here in California, and we are joined by Toby and Dana in uh, Renton, Washington. Hi, guys. How are you? Hey. Hi, guys. Good morning, everybody. How's things in Yuba City? Things Hi. are great. Oh, 103 <laughs> degrees, but other than that, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So um, you guys are going to show us all the purses and thank the purse senders today. And Cinnamon and I are going to host. Cinnamon is actually going to staff cam. the purse cam from here. So we've got quite a swirl going. So um, we're really thrilled. So you guys have a few boxes to announce today? Just a we few. Do. <laughs> hey, Jason, did right? you notice that when Dana and I came on, the likes and loves started going up like crazy? I saw that. They just like... <laughs> Everybody, all the veterans are like, it's like old times. <laughs> <laughs> just like old times. Absolutely. Well, we're going to have a great time today. If you're just joining us, tell us again where you're uh, tuning in from. Say hello in the comments. And if you'd like to, if you're on Facebook, you could share this video right off to your, uh, to your friends and invite them to uh, watch the live with us. We'll be reading off names. Dana, I think I heard you say you have something like 200 packages. 200 plus. Yeah, it's uh, it's just wow. A del it's been a deluge uh, the last few weeks. Wow. Wonderful. All right. Well, yeah. people are still popping in here with their names. Chris just said hello from Blue Springs, Missouri. And uh, we've got people from Memphis, Tennessee and Arkansas and Bonanza, Oregon and uh, on and on. So a great group. Scottsdale, Arizona, Auburn, Washington. Uh, on and on. So thank you everybody for tuning in with us today. We're thrilled to be able to broadcast from our new office in Northern California. And I promised a little tour of the office, but I didn't tell Cinnamon we were doing that. And she was like, what? So I'm just going to give you the quick uh, overview tour. I'll just literally uh, kind of just show you the front door of our office. And then I'm just going to spin the computer around without wrecking my setup here. Um, we've got uh, a fun area where uh, it's like, it used to be a bakery, by the way, or a cake shop. And it uh, looks kind of cake shop-ish. And there's sewing machines already set up. Now, we only have one of our containers uh, uh, unloaded so far. The other container gets here tomorrow. And uh, so we have it. And then there's the first can set up. And uh, spinning back this way, we've got a conference room set up over here. And uh, then back this way, we've got, uh, 
we've got uh, offices and storage and stuff like that back there. And uh, there you have it. That is our new office space. We would be thrilled to have anyone come visit. We're thinking that we're going to probably start having uh, purses, um, uh, you know, prepped here in the near future, like maybe in a month or two. But so not, nothing officially is changing right now, except if you want to know the street address for this office. And if you want to start sending any correspondence, uh, checks that you might mail to us or that kind of thing, we're happy to have you start to do that. And uh, so we've got the street address. We can put it in the chat at some point. And we'll formally announce all of those details in upcoming newsletters and on the website. Uh, but we're almost uh, set up. We'll be set up by the end of this week. And uh, we're really excited about it. All right, let me get the camera back in the right spot here. How's that? Is that all right? Looks okay. Good. Okay, great. And people are still popping in. Oh, someone said the office is nice. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, uh, we're really excited about it. Uh, and Pat said... She hopes to meet us this summer in Birmingham, England at the Festival of Quilts. We'll be there. Yeah, that'll be so exciting and uh, really looking forward to that. People are still popping in. If you're just joining us, give us uh, a, a like, love, comment, say hello, let us know where you're listening from or watching from. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the street address for this office just got shared. It's 229 Clark Avenue, Suite uh, O. Uh, Yuba City, California, 95901. So that's in the comments as well. And that'll be on the website going forward. So again, correspondents can start coming here now. And in the future, probably a month or so, we'll start to do changes so that the purses would come here as well. But today, we've got a wonderful opportunity to thank 200 purse makers or something like that, or packages from 200 uh, you know, about 200 packages. So Dana and Toby, why don't we do this? Um, why don't you kick things off with uh, a, a chunk of packages? Cinnamon will, uh, will staff the purse cam and then we will uh, we'll take a break and we'll do some special announcements at some point um, throughout the broadcast. But uh, why don't we jump into it? You guys ready to do it? You ready to yeah. purse cam? Yeah. Good. You can do right. it. Go first? Great. Let's go do on. this. Yeah. All right, first one of the day. Wanda Gard in Maryville, Maryland. I'm sorry, Maryville, Missouri. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. All right, this was the first one I wanted to grab because when I came this morning, this box was sitting outside the doors of the church, and it says, Special Delivery from Lynn Johnson, Spokane, Washington, 40 purses to keep 40 girls in school. We are so powerful. Lynn, I don't know if you drove all the way from Spokane just to drop this box, but I wanted you to know I got it. And, uh, man, we thank you so much. Pretty awesome. That's great. My apologies, Wanda. I forgot to say you had 24 purses in your box. That's terrific. Thanks so much. Hey, the next one is from Jay and Laura Straley. And... You guys mailed your box instead of driving it to Seattle, which is probably a wise idea. Thanks so much for your purses. We appreciate it. All righty. And from just down the road, uh, care of Brenda Thorne. This big bag of purses is from Grace Community Church in Auburn. Oh, yeah. yeah there's a, we, have some, uh, we have some Grace Community fans in the house here. So, Brenda and Grace Community, thank you. And from Cleveland, South Carolina, Santi Coatser, boy, this is amazing. 19 purses in this box. Thanks so much. We appreciate that. And here's a little Christmas in July, or July. It's not July yet. Christmas in June. This big bag is from Maxine Edwards, Redmond, Washington. Thank you, Maxine, for the holiday bag full of purses. Good job, Maxine. Boy, here's another 18 plus cards from Santi Coaster in Cleveland, South Carolina. You've been busy, thank you so much. And here's a nice box from Kathy McGoldrick, Murrieta, California. It's probably pretty hot down in Murrieta right now. So Kathy, thank you for your box of purses. 28 purses and cards and packing slips 
and this box is heavy. Sandra Roberts, Good Hope, Georgia. Thanks so much, Sandra. Much appreciated. All right. The mailing address from this one is Lynn Weber, Gulf Shores, Alabama. But then she also wrote on the outside Susie Jackson as well. 32 uh, purses in this beautiful box from Gulf Shores, Alabama. Thank you, Susie and Lynn. Here's the first of six boxes from our famous friends, the Colorado Sisters. 40, 40 purses and cards in this one. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing and never cease to in just inspire us. Thank you. I don't know why Toby got the box. How many were in there? 40? I got 40. I got 70. How'd that work out? This is also from the Colorado Sisters. 70 purses. You guys are amazing. I am clearly trying to pick the light ones. Yeah, you're clearly doing it too. It's on the other side. There you go. on this All right, this one is from Vivian Walker in Hampton, Virginia. Another heavy, heavy, heavy one, which I make look very light. Thank you so much, Vivian. This is uh, terrific. We appreciate you. There are 17 purses in there, Dana. Okay. Colorado Sisters box number three. I'm definitely on the wrong side of the stage because this has 110 purses in it. And there's the box. Colorado Sisters. And I luckily chose a nice mailing envelope. You're a jerk. <laughs> This is from Andrea Brundage in Reading, Connecticut. Thanks so much, Andrea. I appreciate you big time with this mailing envelope. Okay, let's see. I have got Ms. Jill Jago, Jago or Jago. I'm not sure if the J is silent or not. Jill from Woodbridge, Virginia. Thank you for your box. Find it. Family kitchen. Okay, this is a very tricky moving box. Maybe you will notice the box and know who it's from, but it is from Give Back Box in Wadley, Alabama. They're obviously a great shipper. Uh, if you recognize all your writing on here, your name's not on here, but we very much appreciate you. Thanks so much. All right, I had to be the one to hold up this box. <laughs> the, although, you know, this is from Nancy Mullally in Naples, Florida. Nancy, personally, I like Honey Nut Cheerios, but uh, he's had the little strawberries in them, I guess. But, hey, you can send your purse here and anything, as long, and it'll get here. So, Nancy, you got here from Naples, Florida. And from close by in Cedar Woolley, Washington, Steve and Cheryl King, thank you so much for your box full of purses. Doesn't say how many are in here, but I feel like there's quite a few. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right, Alabama is on the is on the docket here again from Auburn, Alabama. This time, Laura Sutterer. Laura, thank you for your box of purses. Another close by in Chehalis, Washington, Carol Johns. Thanks so much, Carol. There are a lot of purses in this one. 28 to be exact. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. All right. And all the way from Dripping Springs, Texas. Who wouldn't want to live in <laughs> Dripping Springs, Texas? Betty Fork, thank you for your box of purses from Dripping Springs. Actually, it feels like Dripping Seattle today since it's supposed to be 91 degrees here which never happens. All right, 12 purses and cards from, hmm, this is fun. Dana, maybe you can assist with this one. Let's see, what are you looking I for? know that they live in Lakewood, Colorado. Why don't you give us the name? Oh, she, she's a regular. Oh, I hope I pronounced this right. Jason, you can, this is <laughs> Melnia, <laughs> Melina. 
P-I-C-R-A-U-X. And you send purses in all the time. And I apologize. You are awesome. Do you know how to pronounce that? Picro. Picro. Picro, maybe. But she is a faithful purse donor. So, booyah. Thank you. Thank you We so appreciate much. you. All right. And from Marysville, California, which I don't think is all that far from Yuba City, to tell you the truth. Jacqueline Cecil sent a box of purses from Marysville. Thank you, Jacqueline. And a big bag of purses from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, from A. Hansen. Thank you so much. We appreciate these. And on this box, I just have a last name, and that last name is Schwartz. And Texas is on the board again. Uh, Woodway, I believe it's Woodway, Texas. So thank you for your box of purses. Okay, from the Skinny Dip crew, <laughs> this is from Joan in Auburn, Washington. 42 big purses. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. You guys are doing so well with those names. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Are you want to jump in? No, I'm just saying you guys are doing a nice job. We're trying. (laughs) Hey, I do want to make a little comment. Uh, The Give Back Box has been a great addition to So Powerful. I think, again, it's anything. It's between 40 and 50 pounds, I believe. It's $15 flat fee to ship. It's uh, The label for that is downloadable off of the website, which is awesome. But let me give you guys a tip. Um, you have to write your name on your box for us to know who it's from because the shipping label will just say Give Back Box. And we don't want to thank Give Back Box. We want to thank you. So just write your name and uh, your city, uh, where you live and where you're shipping that from, and then we'll be able to thank you personally. It's just a little tip if you use the Give Back Box. Huh? Oh, who knows? I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got it. And write how many purses are in your box, and then we can say that. On yeah, the gift back box is a huge blessing. So, and that, that uh, address is a standardized address we receive them from. But yeah, so that's why we need to know people's names and the yeah. details. So, it's, it's a fantastic new tool we have. Yeah. One more and important in fact, request, uh, though. On the 40 or 50 pound ones, please write attention, Dana Buck. Please, <laughs> you. Call my name, yeah. please. Because Toby is older than I am, and he always will be. Oh, Indeed, my. it's true. Yes, it's six true. months. Okay, Jason, do you let's, want to jump in? Let's give the purse cam a little attention here right. and love. Look at that one. That's fantastic. Cinnamon staffing the purse cam so she can't comment on it because you won't hear her on the speaker. But some really, really fantastic purses coming through the purse cam. So really nicely done. And uh, it's always fun to check them out. Super, I don't know what you call that, hot pink fuchsia. And it's like twists. Oh, yeah, it's like twisted. That's interesting. Very, very cool. I just heard a little factoid from uh, Jan on our team. She said that uh, of the last 30 boxes that came in, 28 of them were from a new shipper, a, a brand new person. And... Uh, it's such an honor to have so many new people joining the community. We've had uh, just a fantastic response from the Missouri Star Quilting Company's uh, big shout out to uh, So Powerful earlier this month and have had just a wonderful um, you know, uh, participation rate. If you're new and you've never seen us do this before from Missouri Star, welcome. Uh, this is our, our monthly So Powerful Live event where we just want to thank and acknowledge purse makers. And uh, so, yeah, we've had a great group of new people who are just learning the ropes. They're just learning about the ministry and the effort, what it uh, works like, the system and process. And so uh, really, really excited about that. I'm happy to do a little bit of a public service announcement, guys, if you want me to jump in for a minute. Yeah, um, sure. Yeah, okay, great. So um, every time we do one of these lives, um, we, uh, we pick a theme or a scripture um, and so this month, our, our verse was from Ephesians chapter four, and it's a nice uh, verse. And, and so the, the theme of it was growing up in love is kind of the way I framed it or, or, or mentioned it, but um, love your feedback on this. But the, the passage says, um, uh, we should speak the truth in love and grow up in every way into him who's the head, which is Christ, from whom the whole body's joined and held together 
in every joint with which it's equipped. When each part is working properly, it makes the whole body grow so that it builds itself up in love. And I love the, the visualization of that, that the whole group is working together and we're, we're working together and we're growing together in love. And I just can't help but think about the parts of our ministry, the seamstresses who are thinking through their fabric stash and getting fabric and notions for the purses, the team uh, helping sort out all the purses that are coming in, the team on the ground in Zambia who's making the reusable pads, all of those pieces working together. And, uh, and when we do that, uh, we reach more and more and more people uh, with uh, a good project and a way to serve the least of these and make a difference together in the kingdom. So any thoughts on that one? Yeah, but. I mean, I just, I agree totally. I, I love watching how much, you know, the whole, the whole program has really just blossomed uh, because of that, because everybody has their part and they go into it with everything that they have. And so, you know, watching you guys make the purses and the purses that continue to come in and how much goes into each and every one. And, it, you know, it's like it becomes an addiction and the more you make, the more you make. And, you know, and then each part that fills that purse that's done by somebody else or, you know, even even the parts that we don't control, like the delivery and the UPS and the USPS and, you know, mm -hmm. just every part that works together to make this work is it's just been fun to watch. I think, you know, we had an original idea that was so small. And as we've kind of pulled back and let people fill roles and do things, it's just grown, you know, just uh, so much. It's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Any thoughts on Ephesians 4.15, guys, from your point of view, growing together in love as a group? You know, it's just the way God knits things together is amazing. And, you know, that Paul picked, you know, the body as the metaphor to kind of explain that. Uh, another metaphor that I really love is the metaphor of a mosaic. And, uh, you know, individually we're broken and jagged and don't look like much and should looks like it should just be swept up and discarded and uh yet god takes all those little broken jagged seemingly useless pieces and weaves them together and then when you step back and see what he does it's like this beautiful work of art and uh, i love paul's metaphor but i love mine too i just i love to think of it as a mosaic yeah. and, and uh, we just all take our little piece and and bring it and uh shine wherever we are and god does beautiful things yeah when i absolutely. think about the little pieces i think too of every time we do one of these events just envisioning a map of the world and putting a pin in at every one of these places that we name on here, there are people from all over the world that are doing exactly what you're doing at home. And uh, it's so exciting to know that we're part of something way, way larger than ourselves. It's making such an impact. Yeah. Well, we'd love your feedback as well as you're listening to this live or by replay. Tell us what you think in the comments. If you have a point of view about how we're all growing together and the meaningfulness of that from your point of view, we would, we would love to hear that. So feel free to share in the comments uh, what your reflections or thoughts are on that. And again, that uh, scripture reference was Ephesians uh, 4.15. Yeah, okay. And uh, um, by the way, we've got a few other super amazing announcements that really fit into this quite nicely. We're going to hear from Zambia in just a couple minutes. Surprise. Um, and we're also going to hear some exciting announcements at our chapters uh, that are growing around the country. So in the world. So should we keep going? Guys, want to jump back in with some more purses? Let's do and it. then we will uh, we'll continue in a few minutes with more public service announcements. Yeah, sounds good. All right. I'd like to thank Janet Harold and Loretta Ockwell from Federal Way, Washington and Bothell, Washington. Close by. Thanks so much. And speaking of our awesome, awesome chapter, shout out to Jan Cancella, by the way. Jan is amazing and helps coordinate our chapters. And Jan, I just love you to death. Uh, this is from Judy Chadwick, care of Judy Chadwick, the So Sisters of Northwest Washington, one of our awesome chapters. And a box of purses from them. Thanks, ladies. This one is from Jane from Georgetown, Texas. Jane sent... 31 purses. That's terrific. And she actually, she did those during Lent. That's amazing. 31 Lent purses. Great job. Thanks so much. 
All right. I kind of love these. This is a little box with two purses in it, which I just think that's so cool that, I mean, we get, you know, so the, you know, the uh, Colorado sisters send us, you know, hundreds and hundreds, but somebody, uh, but Pat Cummins from Chapel here in North Carolina. So two beautiful purses, put them in this little box and send them in. Every purse is a girl who has her life changed. And so Pat, thank you so much for your purses. My old decrepit body loves these. This is one purse sent in a package. This comes from Las Vegas, New Mexico, from N. De Leon. Thank you so much. This purse is beautiful. Paris, France, Eiffel Tower. Girl's going to love that. Thanks so much. All right, Gayla Jones, I think Gayla sent in two boxes. So, Gayla, thank you. Gayla Jones from Henrico, Virginia. So, I think this is one of two boxes that uh, she sent in. So, Gayla, thank you so much. Is this her other one, Dana? Oh. <laughs> That's a big one. No, this is, That's a big one. this is a huge one from Lorna. Ostdyke from Fremont, Nebraska. And there are 48, uh, 50 purses and 48 note cards. This is unbelievable. And see how easy I make this look. Incredible. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Laura's one of our awesome volunteers as well as being a purse maker. So Laura, I send Laura an email every week. So that's pretty awesome. Hey, this little cute box with the pink top, six purses with note cards is from Susan Lindsay also of the So Sisters of Northwest Washington, all the way from Shoreline. So thank you. Sue Childs from Chandler, Arizona. Thank you, Sue. There's nine purses in here. We thank you so much. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm just going to use this one as an example. So this is somebody that used the give back box, which is great, but I don't have a name on it. So known but to God, I guess, but thank you so much for sending this in. Just wanted to use that as an example. It would again be so great just to have your name just written right there so we can thank you. And Sherry Colley or Cherry Colley from Buckley, Washington, close by, 10 purses. Thanks so much. We sure appreciate these. Okay, Naples, Florida, whoop whoop. This is your second box. Susan Smith from Naples, Florida. Nine purses for girls in Zambia. Thank you so much, Susan. Ruth Kenny in Bothell, Washington. 20 purses in this big box. Thank you so much. These are terrific. All right. This is from Tom Bielman. It's not often that we get a box from one of our guys. But Tom, I think Tom, and sometimes there is a name on the outside but it might be like the husband's name that's mailing it in or whatever but i believe tom is act is a purse maker uh i believe six purses uh from traverse city michigan so that is awesome tom thank you so much here's one from linda nielsen from akron iowa thank you so much linda these are great and this this is very cool her her return address sticker says, for God so loved, John 316. That's cool. Awesome. Here is a perfect example from Tyler, Texas. Now, this is a give back box. It's got 45 purses in it. But Grace Harrington from Tyler, Texas, wrote 45 purses on the box and put a little address sticker on it. So that's what we want to say. Uh, so we can say thank you. So, Grace, thank you so much. Oh, across the borders. This was from Norma Dale in Duncan, British Columbia. We love British Columbia, right above Seattle. 50 purses in here. Thank you so, so much. I know it's not easy to send things internationally, and we really appreciate it. And Julie Jacob from Cookville, Tennessee, sent us a beautiful box of purses. Thank you, Julie, for your purses. Marsha Wheel. Now, this is so cool, Marsha. I got to show people how you did this. Marsha pronounced 
wheel. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> You don't make Dana look like a fool when he can't pronounce your name. From La Quinta, California. Thank you so much. That's terrific. Oh, boy. Okay. And look, I got it. This is a great name. Polly Townsend. Who can't say Polly Townsend from Garrison, New York? Polly, thank you so much for your awesome name and your purses. Again, Mr. Thomas Bielman. From Traverse City, Michigan. Thank you so much. Now this, oh, because this is a give back box, of course. Twelve piece. That's great. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sandra Marsh from St. Louis, Missouri. I was just in St. Louis a few weeks ago. That's awesome. Sandra sent a box of purses. Thank you so much. You're slow. I was trying to pick one that I could pronounce. <laughs> no, cherry pick. <coughs> F. Berger from St. Louis, Missouri. Thank you so much. I think it must have been the F that attracted Toby. He, can, he knows his letters. <laughs> That's right. And M.O. Sometimes I have to think about that. Is that Massachusetts, Maine? Okay. St. Louis, Missouri. Thank you. All right. The So Sisters of Northwest Washington are really showing up. This is Linda Piccolo from Stanwood, beautiful Stanwood, Washington. So, sisters, five purses with no cards. Glenn Allen from Mesa, Arizona. <clears throat> Great person here. Thank you so much, Glenn. Very, oh, it says Mrs. Glenn Allen. Thank you, Mrs. Glenn Allen. Mesa, Arizona, we appreciate you. Okay, now get Glenn to sew a purse, and that, that would be awesome. Hey, Leslie McMillan from Sydney, Montana. Thank you so much for the box of purses that you sent in. David and Patricia Hartley from Ladson, South Carolina. I have not heard of Ladson. That's very cool. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. All right, Toby's trying to set me up because he set this over on my side, but I'm going for it. This does not intimidate <laughs> me at all because Lana Croszel, Lana, I'm going to spell your name, K-R-A-W-C-Z-E-L, Croszel, that's what I think it is. You are from Berwyn Heights, Maryland. Doesn't frighten me at all, Lana. That's Lana. Yep, thank you for your purses. I apologize for Dana, but... I did sneak that over to his pile. Yeah. Thanks, Len. All right. And while Toby's messing around, I'm going to thank the Coleman's. I don't have a first name. Three purses. Silver Spring, Maryland. Thank you so much. How about Maureen Sheville or Skeville in Austin, Texas? Thanks so much, Maureen. We got your purses. Appreciate it. All right, I just have a first initial here, V. Janes, J-A-Y-N-E-S, from North Reading, Maine. So, wow, all the way from Maine. Thank you so much from V. Janes. Doing great, guys. So glad you're able to pronounce names. Uh, let's look at the purse scan for a minute. Uh, here we are. Purse cam, lovely. Toby's speaking, but no one can hear him. So I'll put him back on camera. Is it just me or did we lose audio for Toby and Dana? Can you guys hear us? I don't know. Can we hear you guys? Can you hear us? We lost your audio. Seems like, yeah, we lost the audio from Renton. That's not good. So they don't even know it. Maybe I can. They don't even know. They've lost their audio. They can hear me, but not Dana and Toby. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. We can't hear you guys. 
We can't hear the audio, guys. If you can hear us, we can't hear you. No, you can't. Uh, we can't hear you. So uh, please stop, Dana and Toby. Yes, I'm stopping. I'm stopping them. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we can't hear you guys. So don't know what the problem is. Um, I'm going to suggest you go get your tech guy and uh, maybe have him log out and log back in or something like that if you can hear us. And uh, I will do a PSA while you're figuring it out. So um, the, uh, the long and the short of it is we have a huge announcement to make today. Um, and uh, hopefully I'm doing all right. You guys can hear me and see me. Uh, I think I'm okay. Please confirm in the chat if you can hear and see me, everyone. That'd be helpful. Uh, we have a huge announcement to make, and I want to make sure that everyone can hear me. Sorry, technical difficulties. Can you uh, can you hear me and see me? It's best not to add rivets or magnets. Hmm. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, but. So I just want to make sure everyone can hear me and see me. Oh, Sue said she hears me. Okay. Um, can um, can we take a pause and uh, we'll do a special announcement? So maybe Cinnamon can come over and help me. That'd be so great. We have a huge special announcement to make, and it is really fun. Um, and... Uh, the announcement is we have a milestone to talk about. The milestone is we have a hundred chapters that are now underway um, and or um, uh, um, already up and going. And uh, so we're thrilled about that. And uh, so um, we are going to read their names. Uh, and let everybody know all the names, and uh, we're so thrilled about it. So you want to take turns? You want to go through this? Sure. <laughs> reading without pre-reading. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, the newest registered chapters are Sewing for Our Sisters from Longview, Florida. We're alternating. Sure. <laughs> Kitsap Crafty Crew in Bremerton, Washington. Sun Sewers, S-O-N, uh, in Gulf Shores, Alabama. And then we've got new chapters that are just starting the process, uh, 19 of them. So it's quite a list. So we'll go ahead and read those. And they're from just specific <laughs> cities. They don't have a chapter name yet. So, All right. So we've got Eclectic in Alabama. We've got Zurich in Ontario, Canada. Edwardsville in Illinois. We've got Nanaimo in British Columbia, These are all the Canada. Yep. Uh, Arlington, Oregon. Uh, Westchester, Ohio. Las Vegas, Nevada. Wildwood, Florida. Daytona Beach, Florida, the second one there. Ooh. New Brunsfeld, Texas. Fargo, North Dakota. All right. Uh, Surrey, British Columbia. Bastrop, Louisiana. Conway, South Carolina. Henderson, Nevada. Frostproof. Florida, what a name! Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Warm. <laughs> Tala, very fun. Wait, Tallahassee. I am pronouncing it yeah, right, right. Yeah. Oh yes, Tallahassee. Tallahassee, Alabama. Yeah, and then uh, West Lake Village, California, and Tawas City, Michigan. Wow, way to go, chapters, and all of you who are forming chapters and putting them together. It's just incredible, incredible what's happened. We launched chapters, I think it was like last April. And to have a hundred launched or in process of launching is just incredible, crazy. isn't it? Super crazy. It's amazing. So thank you so much for all the chapter leaders who are working hard to make it a reality. And uh, we're just thrilled that so many chapters are coming together. We also have service projects that are happening now. A service project is when maybe there's a quilt guild or an existing group and they want to sew for So Powerful, but they aren't creating a special group for just that purpose. And so we have new service projects that are popping up as well. You want to go through these? Sure, yes. We have Indian Creek 
high school, school fashion class in wow uh trafalgar. trafalgar indiana that's super awesome high school fashion class love that yeah we've got new york state fccla which is uh, a, a group of uh, consumer science. I know I'm not getting the acronym right. Jan will correct me in the notes, but it's a wonderful organization, uh, FCCLA, that puts together uh, schools from around the country uh, to do consumer science, um, and uh, they're doing a great job. And so there's a New York group that's launched. Mm -hmm. A local church group in Nibley, Utah. There's Fashion Dreams by Design in Houston, Texas. Stitch and Friends in Shelbina, Missouri. There is Kansas State FCCLA in Washington, Kansas. And Nashau Sewing Back in Nashau, New Hampshire. And Sewing with Ginny Lou students in Talent, Oregon. G-Force Arts and Culture in Kakamas, South Africa. South wow. Africa, that's fantastic. <laughs> Uh, so Sisters in Overland Park, Kansas. Creative Quilters in Alamo, Texas. And Mary Immaculate High School um, in Cardiff, United Kingdom. Awesome. Uh, Scrap Happy Quilters in Versailles, Kentucky. There you go. So thank you so much for all of the service project coordinators and teams from around the world that are doing service projects and for all of you chapter leaders that are working hard to put your chapters together. We're thrilled by the progress and we just wanna congratulate Jan and the entire uh, regional uh, leadership team for all of the wonderful chapters that are springing up everywhere. Uh, job well done, everybody. Great job. Okay, I'm gonna see if Dana and Toby are back uh, with their audio. We think Guys, we are. Can, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, we, we rebooted on this end. So. Okay, perfect. The audio cut out, and so um, we're glad you saw that. You, that we needed to <laughs> I saw your you. I saw your distressed face. <laughs> I apologize I for highlighting that Tito's vodka box because we were muted immediately right after that. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well everybody hears you. So um, we just did the chapters announcement. I have uh, two more announcements to make after this, but you guys want to keep going on some boxes? Yeah, because we still got some sure. to go. So go okay, great. Yeah. I've got a big one from Susie Durbin in Elma, Washington, close by here. Great, heavy box. Thank you, Susie. And I've got a little one here from Danielle Cates. Not Danielle, but Danielle. And she lives in Centennial, Colorado. Thank you, Danielle. I've got uh, another heavy give back box from M. Bartula in Mesa, Arizona. And you gotta see all the extra detail here. This is a Home Depot box. Put a little smiley face on the O. How doers get more done so powerfully. Extra small, no I'm not. No, <laughs> you're not, because this is a heavy box. Thank you so much, 32 purses, we appreciate you. Hey, we encourage you guys have fun with your boxes. We do. So, hey, yeah, definitely. I got a couple here. Brenda McIntyre from Owensboro, Kentucky. And all the way from Auburn Hills, Michigan, Karen Kresnick. Thank you, ladies, both of you. Sherry Colley, another one from Buckley, Washington. 15 more purses. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And from Halton City, Texas, Diane Cowell. Thank you, Diane, for your purses. Carol Randall from Northfield, Vermont. That's a long way from Seattle. Thanks so much. Appreciate these. I do not have a name on this box, but I do have a city, and it is from Wichita, Kansas. So if you sent this box from Wichita, Kansas, thank you. And if Donna Brown from Fairfield, California sent this box, thank you very much, Donna. We got it. And I've got a first initial and a last name here, E. Boyack from Lehigh, Utah. This box of purses. Thank you so much. Hmm. Mike from Michelson's in Chaska, Minnesota. Haven't heard of that. Haven't heard of that. Uh, 
Thank you so much from Michelson, Chaska, Minnesota. We got your box. All right. And I know that this one is from Missouri Star Quilt Company because uh, Bernadette Phillips from Downers Grove, Illinois, put a packing slip in here and said that she uh, found out about this from Missouri Star Quilt Company. So thank you, Bernadette, so much. And Ann Fleece from Westchester, Pennsylvania. I've got your box right here. Thank you so much. We got them. Appreciate it. I got another one that I know is Missouri Star Quilt Company because it's from Brenda Fisher in Blue Springs, Missouri. Thank you, Brenda. And thank you, MSQC. And thank you to Doreen Morton from Billings, Montana. We love Billings. Thanks so much. Appreciate you, Doreen. I have got a box here from Katrina Coffee from Omaha, Nebraska. Thank you, Katrina. I know this person's going to recognize this box. This is a box of 35 purses from Leanne Sanders in Lacey, Washington. Very special box because Leanne drove it up and delivered it to our house personally. We thank you. She surprised Janeri, my wife, who hadn't prepared herself in the morning, so she wasn't maybe looking her best, but she was very, very excited to get these purses. Thanks, Thanks Leanne. Leanne. Just to point out, Janeri always looks her best. So just <laughs> FYI. Barbara, speaking of looking your best, Barbara Civi from Meridian, Idaho. Thank you, Barbara, for your box of purses. Dana's now getting praised for that comment, and I'm getting kicked by my wife, so that's great. All right, let's see. You jump in here. I've got some searching to do here. Okay, okay. well, I got my name right here. Joyce Cox from Hamilton, Missouri. Boy, Missouri's killing it today. Joyce, thank you so much for this big box of purses. I've got no information on here, but USA shipping information with duck tape, edge tape. This is very cool. It's a cool box. It's heavy, full of purses, but no name. So thank you. You know, you recognize this box. Appreciate you. All right, I got a name right here, Jane Howard from Lakewood, Washington, just down I-5. All right, can you hear me now? I'm going to jump in. Uh-oh, I just broke their audio again. I think I broke it. Guys, guys, we can't hear you. Guys, we can't hear you. Are they back? Oh my, we can't hear you. Now I know how it breaks whenever I join back in. Uh, so I'll just remove them. And uh, apparently they can't see me. So they uh, are having a problem again. Same problem. Sorry, guys. Okay. Apologize. Technical difficulties. Um, we are going to get them fixed again. Now I know how we break their audio stream. And uh, we want to talk about a topic before uh, we continue on. Sorry for the awkward <laughs> break. But we're going to talk about safe pads. Yay. Yay. So we've got a video prepared. And then Cinnamon is going to uh, share a little bit more about this really, really important campaign. I'm calling this the most important campaign uh, of the year for us in 2022. And I think it's honestly, uh, it's safe to say, it's safe to say, it's the most important campaign since we launched So Powerful Purse in 2014. And so I think this video should stream fine for everybody. I'm gonna add it. It's about two minutes long, and then we'll come back and we'll talk more about the program. Hey everybody, Jason Miles here. I'm in the Vocational Training Center on a quiet Saturday morning, and I wanted to just take a couple minutes and shoot a quick video for you. and let you know about a special change to our program that we're making over the next six months. We are becoming a SafePads certified manufacturing facility and uh, SafePads are a, 
a global brand of reusable hygiene pads. And the ladies here are really excited about it. The, uh, the new pad is a different design. It's uh, uh, designed for reusable hygiene uh, materials as a fabric, and uh, it's really effective. And the, uh, the program is going to be radically upgraded, I guess you could say, by uh, the transition to certified safe pads. We're also going to begin including a copy of the Book of Hope, which is a, a version of the New Testament, uh, the Gospels, and uh, that'll be included in every purse going forward. In fact, we have a relationship now so that every school, both boys and girls, uh, not just the purse recipients, but all the children will be receiving the Book of Hope. So we're thrilled about that. So between the Book of Hope and the Certified Safe Pads, version two of the So Powerful Purse program is being launched. Now, to make this a reality, we've got to change our process a bit. We need to retool. We need more overlock machines. And uh, we'd love your financial support. The campaign in total is going to take about $39,000. And we know that you know, we have uh, folks watching this who could write a check for that immediately. Others could give a, a, a meaningful gift and help us substantially. And others could give a small gift. And, and all of those will add up together to help us achieve this next step. So I'd love to have you give your highest and best gift towards this goal of $39,000. We would love to have this on track to launch in September and so that in October, November, December, we can be manufacturing the new certified safe pads and also including the Bible in every purse we distribute. So with your gift, we know that can happen. And uh, thanks so much for considering it. God bless. All right. Well, hopefully that was inspiring and it was fun to see the seamstresses. You saw them all with their aprons on, which is really fun. Yeah, it was beautiful gifts, I think, made by the regional coordinators. That's right. Yeah, so Jason just took those off uh, over there on his last trip, and so they just got all those, which is a great sense of just, um, you yeah. know, them as a team and feeling a part of So Powerful, I think, even more formally. But yeah. yes, when they sing, it's always, it's always puts a smile on our face. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. And as you saw, the group itself has gotten huge. Um, we have just a, a terrific group in Lusaka now and also a group in Livingston. And uh, that was shot uh, two weeks ago or so um, in Lusaka. And that group, uh, it, the building they were in is a part of a new part of the school where they, uh, where there's a vocational training center also resides. And it's just a beautiful facility. Um, the Safe Pads project is near and dear to our heart. I think the reason is for, for two or three things. I, I'll just mention one or two, and you can share your point of view as well. The, um, the cost structure of the PURSE program has really um, become um, challenging in the last year and a half. Uh, we're growing so quickly, uh, sourcing the underwear, sourcing the fabric uh, for making the reusable pads. All of that is uh, escalated in cost. And the, uh, the opportunity to work with safe pads not only is more financially efficient, um, but it's also a better product. And so, I, you know, I focus on the, you know, the budget part of it was through our CFO and we're working through that issue. Uh, but we're really excited about the opportunity to have one supplier that provides all the materials, including underwear, uh, and it'll save a lot of time and energy and it is more financially efficient. Um, and uh, so that's an exciting part of the change. Um, but we do need to cut over to the safe pads process. In essence, we're trying to buy one quarter's worth of uh, materials ahead of time to get them to Lusaka so that we can start the, the process there. And we need some new overlock machines and a few details like that. So the goal for the campaign is $39,000. Uh, we desperately do need your highest and best gift if you're able to give financially to support this campaign. Uh, it is our most important campaign of the year. Uh, from my point of view, what stands out to you in terms of the value of, of going to the safe pass? Yeah, uh, I mean, model? you know, we were kind of researching it over the last couple of months or even longer. You know, Sue's been looking into fabric sources and, you know, with the new technology that's out there, better fabrics for absorption and all of that type of stuff. And I think the more we started to look into it and just realize this is really complicated. And then we got connected with uh, you know, tree nuts, safe pads, and they have it all figured out. They've spent the time, they have like a scientist who's developed the fabric and the technology of the fabric is antimicrobial and, you know, that has the different layers, but everything comes to us 
from their production as far as the materials and you know we're able to get it all in ready to go ready to sew it's actually cut out and uh, ready to go so we'll be able to produce a consistent product at a much higher volume mm -hmm. um you know at a better cost and and the cost is better i think too because it will be consistent for the long term and mm -hmm. so it's not something we're like oh we think we have this figured out and then six months later we're like oh my gosh this we can't get this fabric anymore. So it'll solve a lot of the stress, I think, that's been kind of happening as we grow. And yeah. then, you know, for the women there, I think it's so exciting to see or just have the opportunity for this community in Nome Bay, these women in this building, which is beautiful, by the way, the sewing space that they have, um, you know, and to be able to be a safe pad certified manufacturer really just elevates the whole experience for them, their job, you know, what they're doing and all of it together. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just awesome yeah. to think that, you know, it's just, everything just keeps getting better. And I think, you know, the reputation around it all, um, mm -hmm. it's, it's just a sense of pride and they're, you know, they show up to work and they're super excited about being able to do this and, um, have that there for the girls in every purse. So as we pull those in and they'll still be given to the girls in purses and then maybe in the future, if we can grow it to the point at which they could also start selling as a safe pad, uh, safe pads product that they can also sell in the community, mm -hmm. which will be um, amazing too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we'd love your highest and best gift, your support for the campaign um, and every uh, gift matters. And so if you're watching this and you're saying, well, I, I can't really give that much, whatever you can give is enough. And um, when we all work together, we really do believe that we can get this goal done. And we're believing that we can do it efficiently. We'd love to have the um, the purchase order done for the new, um, you know, uh, delivery, the new container full um, as soon as possible. And so it is an urgent issue. If we don't raise the money, we'll just delay uh, which, you know, I guess that's not the end of the world, but it's just a slowdown. And so um, if we are able to raise the $39,000, we'll be able to place a purchase order quickly and efficiently. And even, I mean, if we could really go fast, I mean, if we really got the fundraising done, we could have the purchase order done literally, you know, first part of July or, or, or um, in the next few days even. Um, if we were able to reach the goal and then the container could potentially even be there by our Zambia trip time, which is September 16th. And that would be amazing, but we would have to have the, uh, the funding come in really quickly and we're not close yet to the goal. So if you're wondering how close we are, we're not close. <laughs> um, so, so feel free to give a, a, a meaningful gift. If you want to know the exact amount needed, um, and you're, um, you know, interested in helping us complete the campaign, feel free to email me, jason at sopowerful.org, and we can work through those details. Uh, and we'd love, uh, we'd love to have you participate at any giving level. It would be a tremendous help. We'll look back on this year as the biggest change in our system, the biggest milestone since we started. I mean, I would, I would say there are probably like two prior milestones. First of all, we started the so powerful purse program, 2014-15. And then we opened the vocational training center uh, and had it constructed. And we haven't even really done a formal grand opening of that facility. We're gonna do that in September uh, when we're there with the donor group. Uh, but this, this will also be, I would say, one of the biggest milestones uh, for the program. So thank you for uh, watching the video and uh, letting us take the time to share about it. I'm gonna um, share one more uh, thing today before we wrap up, and that's a greeting from Zambia. And you'll want to stick around for this, but I want to bring Dana and Toby back in, see if we can go through the duration of the uh, purses they have. I won't make any changes so their audio doesn't glitch out, but guys, I'm going to bring you back in and see if you can hear us. And we, we hear you. you. We hear you. Yes. Okay. Hear All right, guys. Well, why don't you just keep going and then let us know when you get down to the last box or two. And then um, we'll uh, we'll show the video greeting from Zambia, and we'll wrap things up together. Does that sound all right? Yeah, that works on our end. Strangely enough, when I made that innocent little comment about my wife not looking her best, that's when we got muted on this end. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It must have been Mark Zuckerberg, but maybe not. Okay, all right, you guys keep going. And by the way, I should finish the thought here to say, if you're watching this video, 
uh, by replay, we have comments that have the link to the Safe Pads campaign giving page. And on the website, you can uh, find the Safe Pads campaign giving page. It's been shared in the group, both on Facebook and on YouTube. So just look in the comments for that link. And that's the easiest way to click through to the, to the uh, giving page for that campaign. Okay, back over to you guys. Awesome, awesome. We're, I can look through the front door here and the FedEx truck just dropped off more purses. So, hey, it's still happening. Hey, speaking of still happening, Kelly Mann from Woodbury, New Jersey, sent us in a box. Thank you, Kelly. Anita Hill, this is a very cool box. That's from Granny Hill, Granny Hill. Granny yeah. Hill from Zolfo Springs, Florida. And look at this cool box. Up here she said, good luck on your moving adventure. I know that meant was meant for you and Cinnamon, Jason. Uh, that's very cool. 44 persons. Thank you very much, Granny Hill. This is a really cool one. It's from Athena S., Kennewick, Washington, and she wrote on here a box full of Missouri, Missouri Star Quilt goodness with a happy face. So, booyah. Thank you so much, Athena. I've got a super heavy one here. Uh, 59 purses, really, really heavy, but unfortunately no name on it. So we can't thank you, but I hope you recognize it. And we sure do appreciate it, as do the girls. I got a name on this one, Jane Rule from Louisville, Kentucky. Thank you, Jane, so much for the box you sent us. I, I always get the big ones. Yeah, you do. Thank you, Dana. 90 Another one from the Colorado Sisters. 90 persons. Holy cow. In uh, Nathrop, Colorado. Thank you so much, Colorado Sisters. This is from my buddy, Jean Morris, who lives here locally and always drops her purses off uh, here at the church. And I get to visit with her, which is cool. 20 purses in this box. Thank you, Jean. How about another huge one from Julie Winchell in Arlington, Washington. Thanks so much, Julie. There are 43 persons in here. We sure appreciate it. And Chris Graberick from Lansing, Michigan sent us this box. Chris, thank you so much. Oh, this is cool. Marlene Hansen and Janice Swasson, the So Sisters of Northwest Washington in Mount Vernon, Washington. Yay. 33 purses, 33 cards. Thank you so much. This is great. Cynthia Uris from Wadena, Iowa. Thank you, Cynthia. And we've got your box. I've got one from Lee Wyndham in Wheatland, California. Thank you so much. There are 20 purses in here. We appreciate it. Okay, man, I got another one from Naples, Florida. Naples, way to go. Sandy, boy, I'm having a hard time with your last name because this is in cursive. Ba Bazidlo, Bazidlo, I believe it is. Sandy from Naples, Florida. Thank you for your box. Tag on the back. Tag on the back. And the, on the back of the box. Oh, Basadio. I think, oh, Sandy, here it is. It's not in this little tag. It's not in cursive. Sandy Bazid, Bazidlo. Yeah, Sandy Bazidlo, Naples, Florida. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you again, Dana. <laughs> okay. Cindy Schmidt. From Burlington, Wisconsin. Thank you, Cindy. This is a ton of purses. We really appreciate it. And one of our faithful multi-purse donors, Linda Pott from Mesa, Arizona. Thank you, Linda, for your box of purses. All right, another 25 purses in a give back box with no name, but Yankee Candle Box, I hope you recognize it. 25 purses, thanks so much. All right, 
Wow. Colorado Sisters, one more time. 65 in this box. Woo. How about Dory Humphrey in Renton, Washington? Right down the street. Thank you so much. 12 purses. Appreciate you. Another give back box, but we got a name on this one. Paula Corver from Kingwood, Texas. Thank you, Paula, for putting your name on here. And thank you for your purses. Vivian Sylvester and Olive Branch. 39 purses and 158 cards. That is so cool and so appreciated. Those cards mean so much to the girls. That's terrific. Thank you. All right. This bright, beautiful box is from Ashley Seaver. She lives in Wood River, Illinois. Ashley, thank you, thank you, thank you for your purses. This is very cool. A 2002 quart air fryer sent to Dane and I from First Baptist Church in Marshall, Arkansas. Thank you so much. That's terrific. I assume it's full of purses and not an air fryer. Oh. Uh, Dang it. This, I gotta love this name Grumpy Gramps and Grandma Cheryl. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna be Grumpy Gramps. Eagle, Idaho. So Grumpy Gramps and Grandma Cheryl, thank you for your purses. That's what our grandchildren were calling me this weekend when we were away. Grumpy that's, Gramps? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, well, I'm going to jump in here again. Deanne Hansen, Cocoa Beach, Florida. That's in Cocoa Beach. Deanne, thank you for your box of purses. Margaret Moline from Renton, Washington, right down the street. We got you. Thank you so much for your 10 purses. All right. I'm having a, let's see. Prolacta. Oh, there's a whole bunch of. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of here. names. Prolacta Bioscience. Maybe that's just the box. No, it's no, the, no, that it's is the it. Group. Okay, pro, seriously, Proctor Bioscience, WLDA, and the Athari Council Seamstresses, Lee, Sam, Mindy, uh, Fuzzy, Pri, wow, Priya Pothina, and another person <laughs> whose name I cannot read, but wow. It's big and it's heavy. It's got a lot of purses in it. I'm not sure what city it's from. Uh, oh, Duarte, California. Okay, we gotta find out. I'm gonna do a little research, find out a little bit more about this box, but thank you. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> he, he says, I can do it. Again, 85 purses with 85 cards. From the Colorado Sisters, of course, Judy Kroonberg, Littleton, Colorado. Thank you, Judy. Ah. Oh. Ah. I just want you to get the full effect here. <laughs> Rebecca Silcott, Lawrence, Kansas. Thanks, Rebecca. Three purses. I don't know. There were three purses in there. He was just trying to act like he had a heavy one for me. Well, I got another give back box without a name. So again, just want to reemphasize one more time. Definitely use the give back box. It's awesome. But put your name and your number of purses on the outside so we can thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, see, I can do that too, Dana. Uh, from Debbie Lewis in Fort Collins, Colorado. Thanks so much, Debbie. 13 purses in here. Appreciate you. Oh, you purse makers are killing me. <laughs> Peggy Monroe from Prairie Village, Kansas. There's got to be 200 purses in this box. Thank you, Peggy. This is very cool. This was actually sent by Mary Furness from Scottsdale, Arizona. 
says Valley of the Sun Purse Makers, Arizona, Betty Johnson, Phoenix Area Quilt Guild donations. 55 purses. That is so cool. Thanks very much. All right, this is our last big box. Nancy Carey from Venice, Florida. 55 purses in this box. Thank you, Nancy. Now we got some envelopes, so. All right, envelopes. This will be a little easier on our backs. Janine St. John from Anchorage, Alaska. Thanks so much, Janine. Got yours. All right, and I got Donna Struntz from Cumberland, Maryland, and Nancy Schaefer from Washington, Missouri. Once again, thank you, ladies. Katie Guillory from hmm, Morrison, Louisiana. I know I messed that up. Mamsura, Louisiana. Katie, you know where you're from. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right, I got a last name on this one. It's Stegel, uh, and it is from, I know it's from Georgia. There wasn't, I had to look up the zip code. I can't remember the name of the city, but it is uh, from Georgia. So thank you so much. And this one's great because the name is, from it is Shrek. Shrek sent us some person. No, it's with a C though. So that's awesome. Uh, the, just the last name Shrek from Arvada, Colorado. Thank you so much. I've got a shipment from Tina Hall in Branson, West Missouri. Thank you, Tina. And one from Tracy Smith in Winchester, Kentucky. Thanks, Tracy. We got yours as well. Renee Conyers from Duncanville, Texas. Renee, thank you so much. How about Lorraine Goldsmith from Parkland, Florida? Thanks, Lorraine. And Susan Parker from Phoenix, Arizona. And Diana Martin from Northfield, Ohio. Thank you so much, ladies. Veronica Shanson from Mission Viejo, California. And April Getz from Manchester, Washington. Thanks so much, April. All righty. Kathy Aldridge from beautiful Moses Lake, Washington. And S and C Mitchell from Lakewood, Washington. Again, just down I five. So thank you. Lynette Walters from Lawrenceville, Georgia. We got yours, Lynette. And Calista Friesen from Waterford, California. Thanks so much, Calista. And that was the last envelope. So Jason and Simmons, woo, woo, we're gonna uh, we're gonna collapse here, but. Back to you guys. That is terrific. Holy moly. Thanks so much, everybody. Yeah, we've lost bit audio again. Can you hear Jason? I don't know.
So those uh, just are photos. I think I was muted there while I was showing them. Those are just uh, photos of Precious that we have. And Precious is a wonderful seamstress in Livingston. And going forward, we're going to have prayer guides, which will have all the information about Precious and how many kids she has and their names and her favorite color and when she joined the program and all the information so that you as Italia Angels can pray for Precious. And uh, so that'll start um, this next month. So if you're not an Atelier angel and you'd like to be, we would love to have you join that program. Um, we're going to focus on um, having sort of a membership tribe, I guess you could say, over the summer. And uh, we'd really love to have you uh, learn more about the program. There are links in the comments uh, that you can go and follow. So let's watch the little video that Precious made for, for you guys. You ready to watch it? Give me a like, love, or comment. Let me know you're still tracking with me. Are you ready? Uh, you ready to watch Precious? Yeah? Give me the thumbs up. Give me a comment. Yeah? Okay. All right. Here we go. Here's Precious's video, and um, I'll share it, and then we'll be right back. Here we go. Hi. My name is Precious from Zambia. Greetings to you people. Uh, I'm thanking this group uh i my dream is for this group to grow up so that it can help other people i thank you very much <laughs> so there you go so that's just a little video greeting from precious so when i was in lusaka and livingston uh this last couple of weeks uh, we shot those videos for uh, what almost 60 uh seamstresses and soap makers so the whole group uh, part of the purse program and we would, uh, we'd love to share those with you. And in addition to that, all the photos and the biographical information so that you can pray over the, uh, the seamstresses and the team members there. So we'd love to have you join Italia Angels. If you haven't, you'll learn more about that in the weeks to come. But I thought that would encourage your heart. Precious's hope is that the group continues to grow so that we can bless more people and help more people. And I know that's the desire of your heart as well. Any thoughts on the revamp of Italia Angels? And uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's just exciting. And, you know, we do want to just invite you to come alongside them in an ongoing way if you haven't done that. And, you know, it's easy to do. Click the link, pick some, pick one of the options, sign up, and, you know, you can follow along and you'll be, you'll see those deliveries of the emails in your inbox, you know, just uh, throughout the whole time, which will be a fun way to stay connected. And yeah. I think many of you, you know, won't ever go on the trip, but it is one of the most meaningful things when you're there is to just sit down with a seamstress and you realize, you know, they're women just like we are, and they have the same or similar hopes and dreams and, you know, kids or grandkids and, you know, different problems that they're trying to solve and the life that they want to have. And, you know, I think we'll get a glimpse into that little bits here and there, and I'm sure we'll get more video. We have a lot recorded, mm -hmm. but I'm sure once we start rolling with it, you know, it'll be really easy to get uh, more updates as we go and, yeah. you know, really just connect in a way that, makes it really personal, more personal than what it already is. I think so many of you already have that feeling of just every purse you know is going to an individual person. And this is a way to connect with, uh, you know, not so much the girls, but the women and the seamstresses that are doing the other part of what goes in the purse. Yeah. And so we'd love your support with that. Um, you, some people might wonder what that money is used for. And the reality is every purse that we receive is filled with the reusable hygiene supplies and the soap and underwear. Those things we used to say added up to when we started, it was $4.92 uh, that they cost. Now it's it's more than $5 for sure. And we're working on uh, that cost issue, but it's expensive to fill every purse. So we do ask purse makers to give $5 per purse that they send in if they can. And, um, and sometimes they can't. Um, and so that doesn't happen. And so the Italia Angels program helps us cover the salary costs, the machine costs, the, the utility bills, the, the running of the program, and uh, things like the annual bonus that the seamstresses get, all of those kinds of special things. It really, really helps us with the budget for the program. So if you can give uh, as an Italia Angel going forward and join that monthly recurring program, you'll start to receive these prayer guides and videos. And, and if you can give just the $5 per purse um, that we ask, uh, you know, everybody to give as a recommendation, we would also love your support with that. Uh, either one of those options is a wonderful blessing to the ministry. We're, we're up year over year, we think, by about 20% in the purses. 
but we're down year over year about 20% in the giving. So good on the one side, not so good on the other side. And so we'd really, really love to challenge you to prayerfully consider supporting financially. It will make a huge difference. We've got Safe Pads uh, campaign as an option. We've got Italian Angels uh, monthly ongoing uh, recurring giving as an option. And then we've got the give one time a $5 per purse option as well. So the links to all of those will be in the comments. We would really, really appreciate your prayerful uh, consideration of that. We're only able to do this because of the generous donations of every one of our seamstresses and, and purse makers from around the world that are helping us underwrite the cost of the program. And we know that when we work together, we can reach more ladies in Zambia to help participate in the program. And then they reach more girls with the purse program. And that's really the model. It's a women's empowerment program and the women empower the girls. So the small group of ladies we have in our program, let's just say it's 60 with soap makers and team leaders and, and seamstresses, let's say it's 60 ladies, they're serving, uh, let's say 20,000 uh, uh, girls. And so that's kind of the way the model's constructed. So your financial support completely and totally helps make that possible. And we're really, really grateful. So I think that's it Amazing. for today. I wanna say a special thank you again to the guys up in uh in Renton. I don't know that they can still can we, we hear you? Can you hear us? We hear you. Hey, we can hear you. Thanks guys. Awesome job today. Really, really nicely done. You're welcome. Great to be with you guys. Thank you again for all you do. And thank you to our wonderful moderators on Facebook and on YouTube. I believe today it was Jan and thank Sue. You. Awesome job on the moderation and uh, keeping uh, all the links going and, and thanking everybody as we went with the live chatting. We're really, really grateful for that support. So from Yuba City, California, we'll say goodbye. And uh, guys, thank you so much up in Washington as well. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.